Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a makeup tutorial and I am going, or a get ready with me. I don't know, I get a little confused sometimes with tutorials and get ready with me's because sometimes I do a, a tutorial and then I'm not explaining enough and then I do a get ready with me and then it's like I'm teaching you everything. So whatever this is, join me for today and um, I hope you keep watching. we I am going to be starting um, with my skin prep my favorite 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 primer has definitely been the Sisley um, Paris how do you say it I can't ever get these things to zoom anyways just one little pump that's all it takes and I apply it everywhere around my face, under my eyes, and then slightly, even though this looks like I'm being super hard on my skin, I'm not. So be as light as you can, as nice, be nice guys. And then let's go ahead and wait, I gotta clean my brush. This is probably, I mean, for every single Thing, I believe that we all have something that we dislike about what we love. This is my number one dislike for when I do makeup, but it is a requirement to be sanitary. So, clean your brushes, guys. Even though you don't like it, this is my personal stash. I've been working on um, getting my makeup room slash work stuff separated and cleaned and everything, but that's still an ongoing little situation. I mean, I wanna use this one for my primer. I like to use a synthetic orangey bristles on brushes. And that one does what exactly what I want. I'm just gonna apply primer with it, so it's not like a big deal. But I do wanna get a clean brush. Clean brush. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to apply my primer. I'm using the Morphe, the eyelid primer. It's just translucent. I really like the translucent ones. This is really, really hard to do <laughs> in front of this like tiny, that's how tiny that little camera thing on top is. You can see me both ways. I have this simple human mirror that I really love. I'm just gonna pat this in. Guys, the whole reason for primers is so that you can get real true color of what your palette is. How many times have you tried to apply an eyeshadow and it, look, it looks nothing like what the palette looks, it looks like and you're like what, the, like, what the heck? That's the whole idea of applying primers. And then I like to go in and I like to set it because I feel like when I don't, I get like this, um, like when I, like when I first go to apply my shadow, whatever I put there to start buffing in, like it stays on there, it stays put, and I'm, and then I have the hardest time blending that out. It's really hard to explain what I mean, but if you know, you know. So anyways, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set that. So I, I think it's been months, probably last year to be honest, bought this um, Mercury Retrograde by Huda Beauty um, palette and it's really cute. Look at this. 
I have never used it. Confession, is that like, is that every single makeup artist in the world? Hell, probably every single consumer, girl, teenager in the world. Do you buy and buy and buy palette and you never use it. I am a sucker for packaging and that's where they get me every single time. Huda Beauty always has the best packaging. So with this palette, I kind of, with Easter kind of being around the corner, um, got a little inspired. I definitely would never do these um, makeup looks. Well, I take that back. I might do these um, makeup looks that are kind of extreme and probably pick colors you never would use on an everyday basis if I had the time, but I don't. I'm going to work out and then going straight to work. That just never works out for me. You guys, I always, always, always um, prep my face before I do my makeup. So make sure that you watch. I'm gonna, I don't know if it's on this side or this side. I'm gonna link the uh, my beauty routine, updated beauty routine up there so that you can watch. Um, along with some other videos that um, I feel would be great. Um, I, I take care of my skin really well and I encourage everyone, everyone, to always, always take care of skin first before any kind of makeup routine. Um, makeup should be the least of your worries. Your skin should be number one. So, with that being said, I did prep it and then I and always, always wear your sunscreen. Um, I added the primer. And so now I'm gonna get started with the eyes because I typically, everyday basis, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with the foundation just yet. But I think I'm gonna prep the skin first. And I'll tell y'all why. I, I'm gonna go ahead and take that back. I have, so last, this, I'll, I'll probably put that one up there too. Um, the last video that I did with the, um, with the greens that I used, I believe it was a Melt Cosmetics, the Smoke Sessions palette. Okay, dude, last time I tried something that I had never tried before in my tutorial. And that was using the Huda Beauty. Let me show you again. So these are three of her um, highlighter palettes. Like I said, I'm a sucker for packaging. Who doesn't love a good packaging? And they're all dirty, of course. But anyways, the last time that I did a tutorial, I did follow these steps accurately. Prep, set, sculpt, and flush, all right? Guys, the prep part, I'd always been wanting to try. And I never ever like did because I would always be like, no, what if I don't like it? Well, the last video I tried it and it was, it's funny, but I loved it. Um, it has a reflector, um, reflecting pearls in this prime or prep as they like to call it. And it made me look dark so dark it was scary but once I blended the, the foundation it was like really flawless and throughout the day I said I was gonna come on and kind of um, update everybody as far as like how it oxidized and everything but I didn't but it was beautiful like I could not stop looking at my skin so guess what now it's part of my when I can routine so that's, I'm gonna go ahead and do that first instead of doing eyes because my eyes will not be as dramatic as last time I won't be using super dark colors That's how I base If I'm gonna do eyes first or, or foundation um, Is if I'm gonna use the dark colors anything black Anything just dark in general I do my eyes first because it all falls and then I just don't like to go back in and have to clean that up because then I'll mess up any kind of foundation concealer whatever anything that I'd set with powders and it's just harder it you can kind of see when you went back in and, and fixed anything so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and do my face first so I'm gonna be using this one and this one's from the bronze sands edition I guys am NOT a big fan of matte makeup I I like to look dewy, I like to look reflective, I like to look like moisturized. So this for me was really great because it comes in a cream. All right, last time I really doused it and it, it was really dark. 
this time I know what to do so as y'all can see it starts off really gold and each I mean if you can kind of go in with your like if you're lighter they come with obviously um, lighter colors like for this one this is the pink sands edition this is for my more um, pink undertone girls that have you know like have and need a little more color look at how pretty and reflective that makes it look I don't look like the tin man lost <laughs> last video I was scared I was like what did I do oh my god A little less product goes a long way. You guys, I'm so excited because tomorrow I get to start my blonding process. I'm going black, back to blonde. Yay! I said tin man. What would definitely be a better response to that? Because obviously I'm not tin, I'm not metallic. Alright. Next step, I'm going to be using... Um, the Huda Beauty in color 310 foundation. So the number one reason I tried this prep from Huda Beauty was because I'm in between colors right now. I'm not too dark, but I'm not too light. And so I'm in between colors right now. I'm between a 310 and a 320, but I don't have any 320. So that's why I tried this because I was like, well, give me some darker to set on top of the lighter. And it worked. So... Yay me! I always like to be very, very light. I don't like to, so I don't like to do this, okay? I like to push in the foundation. It just gives a much better look. I don't know, like less cakey, more blendy. And if I'm gonna buff, I like to be very light. Oh, I'm missing an earring, guys. Nobody told me. I always like to bring it down into my neck area. Your boss just like that. And so that matches so much better than it did in the past. Because mind you, once I start oxidizing, I match, but then that takes a while. So you want to look good right off the bat. So in my last tutorial, I also mentioned that this, I was not, I was not 100% happy with this Kylie setting powder, but because it's so, so it's very, very like, I don't, let me see if I can show you guys. So my Laura Mercier, it just seems a little, the granules just seem so much I don't know if you can see this, but I'm, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, the powder is way finer when it comes to the Kylie, okay? Than the Laura Mercier. Let me show you really quick. Okay, can y'all see? So to the right of me is the Kylie Cosmetics, to the left of me is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I just feel like the Kylie one is a little more fine, textured than the one on the left it's just that the granules just way way thicker way bigger so in my opinion i feel like they're both great laura mercier has been my fave forever but because of the fact this is my opinion because of the fact that the kylie one is just finer granul granulated you just need a little more so you have to pack it on a little more and maybe she did that so that you could customize it not everybody wants to have a full i mean if you just did bb cream and you just want to put it on top just to set it um i get it i mean i get it but you know there's also tricks as far as you know that goes when it comes to learning how to use it so that is my perspective on it. So everybody might be trying to correct me as we speak, but that's just what I think about it. Um, if you're gonna be using the Kylie one, I feel like you may need to go one more time as far as when you go into set. And that's it, it'll work just fine. All right, so now I am gonna go in and I use the shape tape from Tarte in the color medium. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my 
concealer so that I can go into setting my foundation and everything else. I'm just using a flat concealer brush and just kind of patting it in. I have the time today. Typically when I do this, I feel like it takes longer. Nobody has time for that. I get it, but I have time today. Other than that, like in my everyday kit, I use a beauty blender. Remember to pat, push in product versus the application. Did you get that? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set it with the Kylie powder foundation. And I'm just gonna really pack it in right under my eye. I like to go in directly after I apply because I feel like my wrinkles won't show up as much. Um, and I found that the older that I'm getting, the better it is to use a brush to apply the setting powder under your eyes than to use an actual beauty blender. It shows way less wrinkles. All right, so as y'all can tell, I really packed that in there. And then I'll leave it for just a second. I guess in the time that I'm closing it up and then just kind of cleaning it up around here. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna buff it out. Be light. I just like to make sure that my hands are light when I'm buffing this. Um, flicking that wrist. Just like relax and breathe. All right, we're done. I just said that. So we will leave that alone. And then we will start on eyes. All right, so for today, I'm going to be using this one and this one and what, this one for the inner part of my eye. Haze, Utopia, and Supermoon. I really, 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 really like using um, these orangey colors. They just go good with my skin and my eye color. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna find my crease right just now the second. And it's a really pretty pinky orange. Can you see? Ooh, let's get us. Just kidding. I forbid myself to get that close to the freaking camera. Equally. been buffing for like a minute all right that is the number one windshield wiper motions back and forth back and forth make sure you're giffy yeah? I'm one of those that I'm glad there is makeup because love what would I do what would I do all right, so then I'm gonna go in and I'm not gonna necessarily cut the crease. I just wanna build a primer or more of a flat color right under that color so that I can apply this um, haze color to give it more of a pop of color. just to blend out whatever got onto the top of my crease. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with haze. Okay, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna push this color onto my eyelids, just like that, so that I can get the best pigment. I really like, this is from Tarte. <clears throat> And it doesn't say it was a collection, but I really like how the um, brush is angled so I can actually, you know, get in those cracks and crevices. This color 
is so pretty. It just gives me Easter vibes. Just like that. Push in. You guys, this color is so cute. It's a good color for all my people that like to do the whole 90s. Mercury is in retrograde by Huda Beauty. That's not what it's called. It's just called Mercury Retrograde. It's so cute. All right, and I'm going to go above it, and I'm just going to kind of buff just in case if there's any lines. Let's buff, buff. All right, and then I'm going to go in, and I'm going to spray um, with a setting spray. <clears throat> this one's the Glow Recipe. Watermelon Glow Recipe. It's this one. It smells like watermelon. It's so, so good. And I'm just going to go in and spray that. And then I'm going to go in with Super Moon. Which is a little iridescent color. And I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of my eye. Just like that. Kind of throw off any excess got reflective little crystals inside it just really gives it a pop of that color <clears throat> so the thing about iridescent is that it really shows off whatever whatever color you're wearing so if you're wearing red and you're wearing iridescent crystals anywhere it's gonna it's gonna show off those iridescent crystals in red it reflects whatever color you are using so this is reflecting the blue or teal I don't know what color this is this is not teal it's like a like a green pistachio slash turquoise I don't know oh. so anyways like I said it's reflecting that color and I always like to kind of blend it in to have a little trans um, translucent or no transferring line I don't know how to say that you know what I mean blend it into line I don't know whatever just like so all right then I'm gonna get my shader brush which is this flat brushed color and I'm gonna actually use that same blue. I love how it brings out my brown eyes. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add it to the bottom of my eye. Just like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab another blending brush. I'm gonna grab more of that color. And I'm just gonna blend the bottom just so that it doesn't look like I have a harsh line just like so this color makes my eyes look super brown <clears throat> just make some okay so then with the same shader brush what I'm gonna do sorry guys looks good from far away in this camera but in this mirror we need a little more help anyways like I was saying I'm gonna go in and then I'm gonna add a little of this vortex color it's like a purple color but what I want to do is I just want to create a little bit of a shadow underneath my waterline to kind of separate that green like I don't want to look like I'm in the 90s <laughs> just have color everywhere just very lightly just create a little bit of a shadow halo under the because I will be applying so okay wait one thing at a time right I'm just gonna blend that in <clears throat> vortex is a little bit of a purplish color do y'all see how that kind of smoked it out just a little bit Ultimately, that's what I wanted. 
just to smoke it out like I said to divide a little bit of that color so that I don't look like I'm going to a 90s party <clears throat> make it more actual now then way back 90 days back in the 90s then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put in some of my white eyeliner the one that I'm in love with right now is the Palladio, and you can get this at, at Sally's. It's it's Sally's brand, or Sally sells this brand. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna lightly apply it on the waterline of my eye. Because I'm almost done with my whole look, I always like to go in and I like to apply this uh, lip injection uh, lip gloss. It's a plumper. And it just kinda helps smooth out everything before I apply anything as far as lip goes. So I always put it on, finish off my makeup, then I wipe it off. It tingles a little bit and not burns like most of your plumpers. Next, I'm gonna apply mascara. I always, always apply mascara first before I put on eyelashes. Today, we're skipping the whole um, eyeliner on the top of the eyelid look because that's not something I'm going for. Okay, I'm gonna apply the bottom. I'm just kind of lightly going through with it. And then I'll start with the first one. Go back down. It's almost like we have to let it sit for a little bit before we go back over it. All right. Next up is the eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown. Okay, and again, my biggest thing is that I like to start about halfway into my eyebrow. Just like so, bringing it low right always do this for both sides it's almost like setting the pattern and it's almost like i never lift the brush until i get to each point that's when i do that's when i grab the brush real firmly after that i don't all right i like to just kind of brush into it shading in the front of my eyebrow very very lightly because i like an eyebrow on me to look very, very natural. So I always meet the top of this and connect to the top of my arch. That is how I feel in my eyebrows. Okay, turning occasionally to look at it from the side and make sure it looks like a normal eyebrow. Like I don't have any lines going any other way That is not supposed to go okay rule of thumb don't ever when you when you measure it don't ever go longer or shorter short shorter shorter than the outside of your eye meet within and it just makes it look more natural eyebrow one done then I think I showed you guys this trick you can always clear gloss it. You can always do a brow, shader brush. I, because of how dark I am, like to use mascara. Like how dark my hair is. It just stays more in play. I'm gonna brush them up. It gives them a little more color and you can just really see those colors coming through. Yay! All right, eyebrows done. I'm not gonna go in and cut them out and carve them out um, under or above. Um, I have a lot of eye color going on, so I want that to be the focus. So next, I'm gonna be using the Duo Eye, uh, eye Glue. I ran out of my Casina and I have not gotten around to ordering it. And I'm gonna be using my um, 
chingona af um from delicious co they're my favorite i love extra big eyelashes so i'm gonna go in clean them up just like that and then i'm gonna be using um if i can find it i kind of picked up and i just didn't put things all right you know what i'm just gonna use fingers. just kidding i found them these are from sephora and they're just a normal little kind of tweezer they have to where you can grab the actual eyelash and then they have this little baby where you can apply the product and as you hold apply the product onto the eyelash then you go in and i always like to grab it from the middle like so and drop and i always like to drop it kind of middle middle-ish push down and pull just a little bit to get it on the inner corner of course you can always stop it with your own kind of eyelash if you're the kind that likes a more natural eyelash go for it that works for you go for it so i'm just kind of dropping i'm gonna go ahead and pull down just as so and push it on the end now after I've applied this, this is when I can go in and kind of determine whether I want to apply more of the inner corner highlight. And with this look, I definitely want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it again with my misting spray. And then I'm going to go ahead and add more of this highlight, bringing it down just like so. Just like that. All right, we're done with that. Next, is contour. I'm gonna go in with, a, this is Showmance by Morphe. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding some shadows to my face. You know what, let me do one side. I'm gonna do one side so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Sometimes people ask me, you, don't have, you know, they say, you don't have to do all that or, your face is fine or whatever. And you're not gonna tell me that this just doesn't really cut it down to looking slimmer. I always like to go in on my face as far as like the scalp and where my face meets, hairline meets. All right, just like that. always always go down in here look at how i'm carving out my face already you guys yes this may look a little dark but once i start to blend it out it looks perfectly fine if you're not used to it get a get a lighter color practice 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 look at this area of my face all right versus rounded this is starting to actually give me a little more shape, a little more contour, slimming down my face. Always bring it down. Like I said, cutting down my face. Do y'all see all the cutting, all the carving? Y'all have got to tell me that that's not so much better. It makes your eye, your, um, it makes your face look slimmer. All right. So I always like to go in and set it with either my blender brush, I mean, blender sponge, or just a regular one, just to really follow up that shape. I'll let that kind of sit, but look at the difference between no contour versus contour I have cheekbones but I definitely found my cheekbones on this side so mm, preference guys you don't always have to do this contour is just to kind of find areas of your face and hide some and also bring some out 
Then I'll go back in and then just kind of pop out this line. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and go in and I will use this Pink Sands Edition for the highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and spray. <gasps> no, I got it all over my mirror. And then I'm just gonna kind of set that right underneath my eye to give some of that boom highlight. I like to go in a C shape, right above my eyebrow, just like that. Same for this one, just like so. I'll go in and apply it to my Cupid's bow to bring that out. And I will put it on the bridge of my nose like so just to give it some pop boom now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray some setting spray I like to spray it in the air and then just kind of catch it with my face yes just like that <coughs> okay now what I'll do is I'm gonna wipe off my lips that I put um, that lip injection and then do my lips next all right so now I'm gonna be using my Kylie this has been my favorite um, lip liner and ice latte I accidentally um, accidentally used a big hole in the sharpener so now it comes out but you know what I ain't gonna waste product I'm gonna use it until I can so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna kind of carve out the my lips I am gonna overline a whole lot because I'm gonna be using a lip gloss today I really like this lip liner because it just makes it look like I um, actually contoured my lips I have been in love with these Anastasia Beverly Hills um, lip glosses. This is Saint Tropez, you guys. I have to get close and do this. Look at that. Ugh, the color. The reflection. Ugh. It's just to die for. I typically don't ever use um, lip glosses, but I've been so in love with them um, just because. They just, I don't know, they make your lips look a certain way versus a matte lip just looks not so luscious and, and like moisturized. I don't know, I love it. But this is Saint Tropez from Anastasia Beverly. Let me know what you guys think of this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks guys.